City better. Los <laughs> Angeles. Cause there's some lost motherfuckers here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Was y'all sitting at home a couple of weeks ago watching that motherfucking bank robbery? <laughs> Los <laughs> Angeles. I knew motherfuckers was gone, but this was like testing ground for nuts. I'm sitting at home watching the motherfucking bank robbery. And I used to, like, hate the police with a passion, like everybody else. Fuck them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they always fuck with you. Here's your ticket. Uh, pull over now. Get out of the car. Put your hands up on the car. Get on the curb. Sit down. Go. Come on. Sit, 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 sit. You know what I'm saying? I used to hate the fuck out them motherfuckers till I seen that bank robbery. I'm sitting there watching that shit. I said, we need more police. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Them white boys scared the fuck out of me. Cause I'm sitting there with my partner, he like, hey, look at them niggas robbing that bank. I said, them ain't no niggas. <laughs> niggas don't plan shit that well. You know what I'm saying? Them motherfuckers shot out with the police for 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Nigga go do a bank robbery, nigga be like, hey, you got your nine? Yeah, I got my nine. He said, what you got? I got a 45. Well, shit, nigga, let's go. It'd have been a short shootout because niggas would have had one clip. <laughs> White boys be playing and shit. They'll look here, Jim. We want you to get the M16, get the M9, the banana clip. And I want you to get the KKWAKKYY. <laughs> you know, they have all them letters and technical terms for shit. The WKFFF <laughs> with the laser scope. And we're going in. We're going to need body armor because, by God, we're getting out alive. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And this was some military plan shit. You know what I'm saying? The story behind the story is gonna be a motherfucker when it come out. Cause this wasn't no average motherfuckers that got together and said, dude, it's fucking rob bank. <laughs> Fuck, man, come on, man. Fuck, come up, man. That's what the black people say, come up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These were some military motherfuckers. You remember that fool that was dumping on the police, walking towards the motherfuckers? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ain't no niggas ever did no shit like that. <laughs> niggas see the police be like, nigga, let's bounce. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This fool was just like, yes, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He dropped the clip, had another one in there in three seconds. I said, Marine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That was some straight military shit. Because you remember when the sheriff car pulled up? Three of the sheriffs got out and they dumping on this fool. Remember, he hiding behind the trunk of the car. He did that military shit they call suppression fire, meaning his arm came up. He didn't. His arm said, ra da 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 That suppressed anything they thought they was doing. When they went down, he came up, picked them off one by motherfucking one. I said at the house, we need more police. My money ain't safe. You know what I'm saying? I knew they were stupid when they robbed Bank of America. We all know ain't no money in Bank of America. You know what I'm saying? That's the McDonald's of banks. There's one on every fucking corner. That's when I knew white people was crazy and a motherfucker. And y'all let me know y'all was crazy again this week with this Tiger Woods shit. Just when we think y'all cool to hang out with, your motherfuckers fuck up. <laughs> A little redneck jealous and shit. I bet you he's gonna have chicken and collard greens. <laughs> you better leave that little China nigga alone. 
you know what I'm saying? A billion Chinese, and there's got to be a billion niggas all around planet Earth. Too many motherfuckers be fucking with. And that's a little Bruce Lee nigga. You know what I'm saying? Got that China shit in him. That's like right here. Look at him. Nigga, China. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> they working on their own Tiger Woods. <laughs> y'all gonna have y'all little lion woods. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But Tiger Woods got a whole lot of Bruce Lee in him, man. You see when that motherfucker take his hit on the stick, that motherfucker, whoa! Who had feelings for Ling Ling Jaw? You know what I'm saying? It better leave that motherfucker, cause you see him walk out on the field, he be like, take a here now. <laughs> and golf is changing, ain't it? Cause it's a young brother playing. It ain't like them old brothers. This has been brothers before Tiger Woods. I'm talking about them old brothers. They be like, sir, minds if I hit the ball now, sir. And they be like, hey, let me, we got a caddy for you. No, 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 I carry my own bag. I'm used to caddy. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? This is a young brother from the hip-hop generation. You know what I'm saying? This brother, it's gonna be a lot of young brothers out on that field. And with that much greenery, we gonna barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Brothers see that much grass and immediately start barbecuing. You know what I'm saying? You know niggas gonna be pimping out them little carts and shit. Have three-wheel motion on them, click, click. Cruise, man. Where you going? Ninth hole, fool. Ninth hole, fool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wait till we start playing hockey. When we get on the ice, boy, they're going to have to change the rules. Because right now, they let them fight. Which fucks me up. Because brothers in the NBA, you like Dennis Rodman getting to smack somebody. $50,000 fine. His grandmother's stuck in jail. They're killing his little sister. The nigga's off the team for two years. You know, they fighting hockey all the time. Be knocking each other's teeth out, and they just give them time out. <laughs> Get in that little booth. Hell, Tom Cease on the ice. Get in there. It's going to be a minute. Wait till some brothers get in hockey. You know, brothers, we throw these well. Brothers be skating backwards. What you want, fool? What you want, fool? What you want, fool? Huh? What you want, fool? <laughs> They'll change the rules quicker than motherfuckers. White people, y'all don't even know how funny y'all are. Y'all are chuckle a minute. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing against y'all. I just think y'all are funny people. Just the way y'all walk cracked me the fuck up. You know, just be all tight and shit. How's it going, Jim? Yeah, that's one. Yeah. Steve, Steve. Hey, Bob. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Brothers, we do everything with River. You know what I'm saying? Brother be strolling. All right, nigga. Hey. <laughs> you can talk to a brother mid stride, he won't miss a step. Hey, Leroy. Yeah, what's up, man? <laughs> Try that with somebody white. Tom. Well, what, what? Damn it! I'm concentrating. One, two, one, two. <laughs> I'd like to take this time to thank you Caucasian people <laughs> for inviting us here to America. <laughs> that was real nice of y'all. You know, y'all laughing. I'm serious in a motherfucker. Because <laughs> I watched the Discovery Channel. And Africa ain't a place a nigga really want to be right now. <laughs> Them motherfuckers over there starving, hungry, and <laughs> I'm staying right here in America where I can get a bucket of chicken for $3.95. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck the dumb shit, man. Because you always see them starving kid commercials of Africans look like they've been eating powdered donuts all around their mouth and shit. Flies all around their damn head. I'm watching last night, one of them had a fly on his eyeball. On his goddamn eyeball. I'm sitting there yelling at the TV set, blink, motherfucker, blink. 
I know they weak and everything, but goddamn, uh, get the fly off. Fly just roller skating around and shit. You know what I'm saying? And white people, when y'all get mad at us, like over the OJ thing, you remember that. One nigga fuck up, they want to kill all of us. Fuck OJ. That's not our nigga. That's y'all nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? After he fuck up, you want to send him back to us. We don't want him. That's y'all nigga. He never killed nobody when he hung out with niggas. Got with y'all, chop, chop, stab, stab. We knew he wasn't a nigga from them fucking commercials. Only nigga that can run through the airport. Through security. Nobody touch him. <laughs> Let one of us in here run through the motherfucking airport. Click, click, get down, get down. White people, when y'all get mad at us, please stop saying this shit. <laughs> Why don't you go back to Africa? <laughs> what? How the fuck we gonna go back to some shit we ain't never been to? <laughs> y'all act like we born with maps of that motherfucker in our head. <laughs> like we'll just land over there. Take me to Shambuku's house. <laughs> <laughs> now go down three elephants, make a left at the line. The nigga over there, he over there. <laughs> we don't ask y'all to go back to England. Y'all ain't from this motherfucker either. Yeah, here, so why don't you go to bloody England? Go on and go, cocksucker. <laughs> I ain't going back to Africa. <gasps> no, 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 no. Because some of them Africans do not like us. Black Americans, they can't stand us. From the East Coast, you know what I'm talking about. I was in D.C. on tour, right, first time I went there. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to go out and see the city. So I jumped in the cab, because, you know, nigga was broke at the time. <laughs> Wasn't no TV show or limo, nigga. It was taxi. <laughs> so I wanted to go see the White House, the Capitol, the Internal Revenue Service building. Just in case they overtax a nigga, I know what building to blow the fuck up. <laughs> so I'm in the cab. The motherfucking cab driver had the audacity to turn around and say, you're not too rich, you know, black man. You want to run that by me again, bro? I say, you're not too rich, you know, black man. I said, how black I got to be, motherfucker? <laughs> Just because you one of the niggas that got away? Because <laughs> white people, when y'all ancestors came to pick us up, y'all wasn't looking for little bony brothers. Y'all was looking for big, cotton-picking motherfuckers. And them little bony ones over in Africa set us up. <coughs> you don't want me. <coughs> Look at me, cough out of time, got one nut. <coughs> Shambuku over there, big and strong. Me seen him pick up a whole oak tree by himself. I help you catch him. I'm sitting in the back getting mad at the motherfucker. I said, who winning in this situation, motherfucker? You driving me to the White House. When he pulled in front of the White House, he looked in the back seat. All he seen was an open door. I was gone. Didn't pay for shit. Yell back at the cab. Now go back to Africa and tell him how a nigga done your ass wrong. <laughs> you uppity motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why they mad at us. If anybody should be mad, we should be mad at their ass. You know what I'm saying? I give white people props on this. When y'all have hostages, y'all go get them. I don't give a fuck if it's two. You'll have meetings. Look here, Jim, uh, Bob and Susie are trapped. It's over in the Middle East now. We're gonna have to go over there. You sure you wanna cause an international incident over two people? I don't give a good goddamn if it's one. They're white, we're white. By God, go get them. They're Americans. Bring them home. Technically, we've been hostages in this country for 450 years. Not one canoe. 
with a nigga with a spear has shown up to pick us the fuck up. And white people, that slavery shit. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> I ain't even mad at y'all about that. For real. You know what I'm saying? Black people, we be fucking with y'all about that shit. Because ain't a brother or sister in this room that has been a slave. We ain't none of us picked no fucking cotton. We wouldn't have known shit about it if y'all hadn't have made the movie Roots. <laughs> y'all fucked up right there. It wasn't like they taught it in school. Chapter 7, slavery. Chapter 8, beat a nigga ass. <laughs> they never taught us. When that fucking movie Roots came on, that shocked the shit out of every black man in this room. And when we was like, what? What the fuck? That's how it was? You know what I'm saying? Remember? White people, y'all remember? The next day, we came to school and beat the shit out of y'all. I know that's a traumatic experience. You have to remember. <laughs> and y'all gave brothers some fucked up choices, man. Remember they used to say, well, chop your dick or your foot. You know everybody's like, go right here, man. Go right here. Now do what you got to do, man. You know what I'm saying? That's an easy choice to make, because you can hobble over to some pussy. <laughs> you can't show up with two good legs and no dick. <laughs> and that boat ride was a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? That was some fucked up ass shit, man. That boat ride, because it ain't like it is today, you know what I'm saying? Couple of weeks from here to Africa in these cruises, playing shuffleboard and shit. These motherfuckers was at the gully of the ship, down in the bowels. You know what I'm saying? Chained to each other. Hundreds of motherfuckers just chained together with little diaper shit on. You know what I'm saying? That was a year-long ride. Because then we're sailing ships and the wind don't blow all the time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know they sitting down there mad the motherfucker. <laughs> Where you stop swinging your leg. I'm chained to you every time you swing your leg, my leg go up too. And you, why you shitting all the time? I'm not the only one shitting. Where else me gonna shit? Me chain to you, chain to him, chain to Leroy, chain to Tyrone, chain to Shaka Zulu. We all chain together. Now me gonna shit right here. Me telling you now, you stink. I'm not the only one shitting, look at you. You're taller than you were yesterday. <laughs> Stacking shit on top of shit on top of shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't going back to no Africa. I mean, America, we got our little problems with racism and shit. This is still the only country you can start out with nothing, end up with a whole lot of shit. Where the fuck I'm gonna do a comedy show in Africa? Live from hut number three. <laughs> What was that? Monkeys throwing shit at a nigga doing the shows. <laughs> hey, why don't you grab your monkey, man? Let me finish this joke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now they trying to shove this Ebonic shit on us, man. Trying to call it an African dialect. You know what I'm saying? That shit's fucking with me. And you can't even blame this on white people. What old nigga came up with this shit? <laughs> you know it's one of them old Harvard graduate niggas. Yes, yes, we need something for our people. I don't believe they can learn English properly. What do you think, Charles? I think you're right. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get an extra check for teaching some old bullshit. How the fuck you gonna teach kids Ebonics? They already know it. You know what I'm saying? The kids got PhDs in the shit. You know what I'm saying? Kids walk in the classroom. Hey, 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 what up, teacher? You know what I'm saying? Sorry I'm late, you know what I'm saying? I was in the six foot one things, you know, my partner, we had to dip with Nab Jones on the nigga ass. Right, right, right. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Teacher sitting there, what the hell is he saying? You know what I'm saying? What they really doing is calling our kids stupid. You know what I'm saying? We all learned English, didn't we? So why the fuck can't our kids learn English? Need no damn help, motherfucker. I got a 10-year-old son. If he want to learn German, I'll put the patal boots on him and let him go. Fly, sing, clinking, fly, clinking. See, I get a gay. He can learn whatever the fuck he want to learn. You know what I'm saying? Because we got punk-ass teachers now. When we was coming up, we had teachers that gave a fuck. You know what I'm saying? 
Some of them gave too much of a fuck. Like my English teacher, Coach Speech, this nigga was so big and black. I just called him Evening. <laughs> and every time he smiles like the stars were twinkling. <laughs> I had this motherfucker first hour, man, back Kansas City, Missouri. Now it's already cold in the motherfucker outside. You've been standing out there all morning in the snow waiting on the fucking bus. You know what I'm saying? Tears done froze up on your face. You got the little snot stash and shit. Sitting there, teeth chattering. You finally get on the bus. He's like, no, why don't you get No, not nothing. Why don't you turn the fucking heat on? It's cold in the motherfucking this big yellow summer, bitch. And you get to school, nigga. First hour, you ain't doing nothing but trying to thaw out. So I had this motherfucker first hour, and I used to smoke a, a bag of weed just to go to school. I swear to God. Swear to God, I smoked a $20 bag to arrive. My shit was so bloodshot red, people walked up to me and stopped. I blink, they go. So I'm sitting in the classroom, right? And Lil Junie sitting next to me like, hey, hey, man, you got another one of them joints on you, dog? I said, nigga, I am a joint. Sniff my sleeve, nigga, sniff my sleeve. You know what I'm saying? Coach Peace up there. Griffin, I want you to come up to the blackboard and read this paragraph in proper English. Now I'm sitting there high in the mouth. I'm like, hey, man, why, why is this fool fucking with me? Man, you know, now I'm fucking blackboard. This nigga the blackest nigga I ever seen. What'd you say? I ain't say nothing, man. Damn. I ain't, damn. I can't do it. I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm sorry. Turn the heat on, man. My hands is froze, man. How I'ma hold the chalk? You know what I'm saying? Rest of the class, I want y'all to read chapter 24 to 27. Griffin, meet me in the hallway. He march on out, you know what I'm saying? And you know when you get thrown out of class, you gotta perform on the way out. Cause you can't let motherfuckers know he got you and shit. So I'm on the way out, yeah, fuck that big black motherfucker. Evening ass nigga, the nigga look like he need to crime the entire state building, good gorilla looking motherfucker. Till I got in the hallway, huh, what you want? <laughs> he like, why you wanna fuck up everybody else's education? Cause you don't want one. I'm like, speech, man, you know I'm high. I've been high all year. This ain't no new shit to you, man. I'm high now. And I'm just trying to figure out in my head why you want to fuck up my high. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like you don't smoke weed. I don't come to your house and fuck your high up. So why you want to fuck up my high? You know it's cold outside. I've been waiting on that bus a motherfucking hour for that slow ass nigga driving that bus, Willie. You know Willie, nigga. You know Willie. He live next door to you, nigga. We stay in the same neighborhood. Why you fucking with me, speech? That motherfucker walked up on me. Oh, you just a little man, ain't you? Can't nobody tell your ass nothing. We'll tell you what, since you such a man, you gonna get the first one right there. No, no, because it's me and you, nigga. It's me and you right there. And part of my head was like, I could drop this big motherfucker. <laughs> you know when you hide, nigga, I'm like, I'll drop this big evening motherfucker. <laughs> nigga, they gonna call it daylight when you hit the floor. <laughs> and the smart part of my head was like, don't do it. <laughs> evening will kill you. There'll be an ambulance. That's right, Ebonics, Amelance. <laughs> and they gonna call your mama. Please open your little hand, cause hitting that nigga with that fist is like throwing a grape at him. <laughs> so I opened my little shit up. That fool hit me in the chest. Pow! <laughs> All the wind I thought I owned. Just <laughs> some fool running down the hall, put it in a bag and had it on sale. Nigga, I hit the flow. <laughs> Just searching for air. Hold up, hold up, big nigga, hold up. Snatch me up. <laughs> Pile. <laughs> this ain't legal. <laughs> you better check the student handbook, man. <laughs> Teachers ain't supposed to hit kids, man. Raise up off me, big nigga, raise up. That nigga snatched me back up. He's like, you think you can go in there and speak proper English? Well, bloody I ain't you all that get stuff, you know? <laughs> I was waiting on the chance to get in the classroom and flex more English skills. Here, 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 here. I got straight A's in that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying?
Nowadays, the teachers are scared of the kids, but they got good reason. Kids is carrying pistols. Change shit all the way around. Hey, Tay Tay, come on up here to the blackboard. Nigga, I don't feel like it. I can understand that. Yeah, hey, y'all talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> I brought the stereo in case y'all want to dance or something, you know. Because <laughs> kids, man, they just ain't the way they used to be when we was coming up, man. These motherfuckers, they spoiled rotten. To the bone. You know what I'm saying? Just little rotten motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Like when we was coming up, man, we used to play together and shit like that. These little motherfuckers don't even want to go outside. They stay in the house. I don't give a fuck how broke you are. You could be on food stamps. You got a Sega Genesis at the house. And them little some bitches just be right there. You want to go outside? Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? When they have kids, they gonna mutate. Just gonna be a head and hand. <laughs> Remember, we used to beg to go outside. Mama! Mama! Can I, uh... Can, 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 can I go outside? Not till you finish your homework. Oh, my damn name. What'd you say? Nothing. Then when she finally let you go out, when we went outside, we wouldn't play by ourselves like these little bastards. You see them nowadays by themselves. They don't have friends. They, they just be outside playing. You be like, what the hell you doing? I'm playing. We wouldn't go outside and play until we went and got our partners. You know what I'm saying? We go right next door, go get our partner. How you doing, Miss Abernathy? Can, can, uh, can Junie come out? He, he, he can't come out. Well, well what do he do? That's when they turn into little reporters and shit. He, he got a whooping? Got a, got a whooping, got a whooping. You just found out about it today and it happened yesterday? Whoa. Just, just found out about it. So, I mean, what do you do? You can't say? But it was bad. It, it was bad. Uh. Well, well, can Mikey come out? Can his brother Mikey come out? He can't come out either. Well, did he do it with him? They did it together. He got a whooping too? Whooping too. Then he, then you leave there and you go report to the, everybody else in the neighborhood. Hey, y'all. Junior and them got a whooping. She just found out about it today. It happened yesterday. Then the motherfucker put extras on it like he seen. I was watching the whole thing. I was right there at the door when she started whooping him. She had Junie in the headlock, and she was beating him in the head with the phone and stuff. And then every time it ring, he just kept doing like that, doing. <laughs> Voodoo child, baby. You know what I'm saying? It's like every time they play these damn computers, man, they, they don't even understand how lucky they are. You know, they just take it for granted. Man, remember we used to have a G.I. Joe with a Kung Fu grip. You know what I'm saying? They press a button and Mortal Kombat do everything they want. You know what I'm saying? Remember we had a G.I. Joe, you had to work that motherfucker. Come on, Joe. Go, Joe. Come on, Joe, they shooting at me. <laughs> and remember you used to get your sister's Barbie doll? That's when that Kung Fu grip came in handy. <laughs> Joe holding her from behind, yeah. <laughs> I think that was everybody's first porno. Was Joe fucking Barbie. <laughs> Then there's some other bullshit they pimping on our kids, man. This gangster rap shit. You know what I'm saying? We losing too many good brothers over some bullshit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I work with Tupac and Biggie. Both of them good young brothers, you know what I'm saying? Lost in some craziness. Gangster rap. Ain't no such thing as a fucking gangster rapper. The two don't go together. It's an oxymoron. 
The first code of being a gangster is what? Silence. If you a rapper, you talk too goddamn much. <laughs> Homeboy, you never shut up. You know what I'm saying? You telling all the damn business in the damn song. Had to drop a nigga with my line as they put him in the chalk line. Me, Mookie Earl, your name dropping motherfucker. <laughs> now we got to kill your ass. You know what I'm saying? Real gangsters don't go platinum. <laughs> You'll never see John Gotti come and pick up a damn Grammy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Scarface will never accept an American Music Award. You know, I'd like to thank, uh, first I'd like to thank the fucking, uh, the red, uh, what the fuck is your name over there, huh? What the fuck is your name over there, huh? I say hello to my little friend. I still standing. Beat the check. <laughs> Motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? They're always hollering, West Side, East Side, West Side. <laughs> Niggas dying over a block they don't even own. <laughs> nigga, you're renting. You're paying rent, nigga. You know what I'm saying? West Side, West Side. If anybody should be screaming West Side, should be some old Jewish dude. West Side. Cause I'm a voodoo child. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got so many brothers dying, young men dying, that a lot of our women are becoming dykes. <laughs> oh, touch the nerve in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? It's becoming rampant. Just all these little Kit Kat girls running around. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't get the shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What the fuck do you get out of it? You know what I'm saying? She licked your pussy. Then what? Then what? What y'all doing, bumping titties and shit? You know what I'm saying? I throw my little chest in the mix. You know what I'm saying? Just licking each other's pussies, I don't understand it. She ain't doing nothing a man can't do. She eats your pussy. Hold up, I ain't got much time, nigga, and I want all of it in here. <laughs> she lick your pussy. We'll munch that motherfucker down. Then we can slide some dick in you. You're getting a bonus plan. Come home to Jamaica. Voodoo child. You know what I'm saying? Just always licky, licky, licky. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't mind the feminine ones. You know, they're still feminine with they shit. Because ain't a man in this room that's going to turn down extra pussy. <laughs> Bring your friend along. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go on, clean it up for me, girl. I'm going to clean it up for me. And when you get done cleaning, get the fuck out the way. I got work to do. Damn it. Food job. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's them bull dyking motherfuckers that get on my nerves. You know them old butch made motherfuckers. Running around sagging and shit. You know what I'm saying? Hair all chopped up, fucked up, nose ring to the lip, to the ear, to the titty. Them nutty bitches. <laughs> Always walking around talking about, I can do anything a man can do. No, you can't, bitch. <laughs> Oh, you can do what I can do? Well, come on, come, 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 come. This standing up without pissing all over your damn self. You can do what I can do. Write, write your name in the motherfucking snow. Go ahead, try it. 
Try it! You can do what I can do. Voodoo chop. Then if that don't work, they always talking that vibrator shit. But you can't outlast my vibrator. I got ever ready indoors here. Oh, shut the fuck up. Let me tell you ignorant motherfuckers something. Cause I know there's a couple of you in here. No, I smell the pussy on the breath when they's walking in. <laughs> Let me tell you, ignorant motherfuckers something. There ain't a vibrator on planet Earth that could fuck with Ned Dick in this room. Oh, I hear a little doubt. <laughs> Can't fuck with a man, cause a vibrate ain't gonna grab you by the back of your head. Say, shut the hell up. Shut, well, what you running for? Why you running? Why you gonna help your man run? Show the, shut the nut. Shut the fuck on nut. Ain't gonna turn your ass upside down. It ain't gonna dick you down proper. Then look you in the eye and say, I love you. <laughs> Foolish <each> child. Because <laughs> pussy is such a wonderful thing. No, no, I'm going to give the men one more chance to show you nuts. Pussy is a wonderful thing. saying pussy is such a beautiful thing and I tripped out when I found out some women think they pussy is ugly you know y'all do all that extracurricular work peeling and shaving make it look like the letter I and shit like we give a fuck ain't a real man in here give a fuck about how it look bitch you could have hair down to your knees braid it up make it pippin long stopping pussy that's a pretty motherfucker. Cause when you turn it sideways, it look like it's smiling at you. <laughs> you just gotta kiss it. <laughs> I, ain't wish, I wish there was a pussy big enough you could just walk in. Be hitting the clitoris. <laughs> you couldn't get me to come out. Oh, I take that back once a month. Shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's getting hot in the motherfucker, man. Remind me of the Olympics. You know what I'm saying? Why people, why do y'all show up for the Summer Olympics? That's another question. You ain't gonna beat a brother in the heat. <laughs> I'm sorry, we come from the hottest continent on the planet. You ain't fucking with a nigga in the heat. You know what I'm saying? The Winter Olympics, that's y'all shit. Y'all ain't got a damn thing to worry about. We ain't coming. Niggas do not fuck around under 40 degrees. Weather report come on 40, nigga, I'm staying in. That's y'all shit. You'll never see a brother winning the down slope event. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know how y'all spectate this shit. Walk all the way up the fucking mountain. Motherfucker coming down doing 90 miles an hour. Straight. <laughs> yeah, that, that was Tom. Looking like he's doing good. Well, yeah, let's walk down and talk to him. You know what I'm saying? Summer Olympics. Just stay home, white people, really. No, because I don't want y'all to be there and be embarrassed and shit, you know. I don't know why y'all show up to a foot race. You're going to lose. We got too much practice. We've been chased by our parents as kids. <laughs> chased by gangs and shit, the police. They shoot that gun to begin the race, nigga have a flashback. But I got your money, girl. Get up off a nigga ass. <laughs> Like that brother, what's his name? Michael Johnson, the gold slipper nigga? That's a fast motherfucker. You can tell he grew up in the hood. Because he got that hood running tile up top. 
You know what I'm saying? Not that old technical shit, you know, I've been rehearsing and then the doctor said to line it up like that and the trajectory of the fifth point, you know. <laughs> this motherfucker up tall like we run in the hood. That's from running from police dogs. <laughs> Cause you stay up tall so you can see behind you, shit. If the fence come, hit it quick, shit. <laughs> and the javelin throw? I might not know about the space program. <laughs> but I know a spear when I see one. Now, as soon as white people want to do this shit, they call it a javelin. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna be the brother in that event. There's a brother in the deep, dark woods of Africa that's got a whole different incentive behind his throw. He's used to throwing to feed the village. He could hit a bird at two miles. You know what I'm saying? They come to him. Are you ready to throw? Shim, buckle when they went up. Look, are you ready to fucking throw? Shim, buckle when they went up. Look here, can you go over and translate and ask the fucking guys you're ready to throw? Boom, then we'll go with you when they went up, because you went up. Shim, 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 shim. I mean, hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> and that motherfucker got a whole ritual before his throw. He grabbed his spear. Shit, back away, 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 Shit, back away, 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 away. Five bitches on either side with feathers and shit on. Well, I went away, like, 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 well, White official be down there, what the hell is this nigga? <laughs> Holy child. <laughs> Ladies, y'all got to start giving up the pussy. Because it's not your pussy. Huh, you believe in the Bible? You believe in God? Tell you in every Bible. I don't give a Quran, King James, Mookie Mookie, Yam Yo Ho, Ren Gek Hu. <laughs> All of them say God created man. That's right, we was first. We was first! And we gave up a rib so that y'all could even fucking exist. We didn't give up a real fuck. Where you at? How come you ain't coming home? Why you always out with your friends? You ain't got no job. Why you get some food in here? Come back here. Come back here. Let me talk to you. Where you going? Come over here. Come over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We didn't give up no real for that yip yap shit. We gave up a real for some pussy. You just carrying it around for us. That shit ain't yours. <laughs> And y'all be sitting, sending mixed signals. You know what I'm saying? You go out in a little miniskirt, half your pussy hanging out and shit. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker walk up to you in the bar, dick on immediate dick talk. Cause eyes have seen pussy hanging out. Must want dick. Dick says, that's right, let's go over there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You get over there, you be like, yeah, I seen you sitting over here by yourself. You know, I was wondering if you want me to buy you a drink or something, you know. I don't want to be bothered right now. <laughs> Bitch, you could have not been bothered at fucking home. Why the fuck you gonna come out, have your pussy hanging out, your titties sitting up like they on a tray served up? <laughs> Wear some jeans or something. Stop tricking my dick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all come out in all kind of little skimpy ass shit. You never see a man in a pair of Speedos with his nut hanging out on the side. <laughs> I know a lot of y'all probably wondering, damn nigga, how'd you get this thing voodoo child? It started with my grandmother, who's from down south, like every black person in his grandmother's from down south. Because that happened to be where the ships got dropped off at and niggas start migrating to other places. 
You know what I'm saying? So my grandmother, man, she had two chickens. I didn't know she was into that voodoo voodoo shit. Two chickens in the backyard. We little kids, we used to go out and feed them and shit and have a little fun with them. I had named them little Lele and TT. And one day my grandmother take me out in the backyard, she catch one of them by the head. Spun them around till the fucking head popped off. Body just run around. And you can see the little head in her hand just like, why you wanna do that? I thought we was cool and shit. You know, you fed me. <laughs> I ate. You know, I played with the little grandkids and shit. You know, I'm watching my body run around now, bitch. What the fuck up? You know, I'm losing oxygen to, to, to my head and shit. You know, uh, before I black out, bitch, we fuck you. <laughs> and I'm sitting there as a kid in a state of shock, man. This is my little buddy, little Lele, dead. And she cooked the motherfucker up that night. I'm going in there, there's little Lele on the kitchen table. And she like, eat up. How the fuck you gonna eat your friend? It wasn't like it was a strange bird I got at the damn grocery store and did. No, that's Lele. I can't eat Lele. Them hunger pains start setting in. Lele looking good in the motherfucker. I had to snatch little lay lay leg off. <laughs> That's only because we're friends, man. <laughs> See, I always got you with me. <laughs> oh, shit. How many of y'all believe in aliens? I think there's some aliens for real. How many of y'all believe? Smart motherfuckers. The rest of y'all arrogant as motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to be out your fucking mind to think we the only shit in the universe. You know what I'm saying? You look at all the diverse life on this one planet. Birds, snakes, alligators, lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my! I mean, look at the diversity just amongst human beings. You know what I'm saying? Like God gonna create all this life here and then just say, all right, everything else will be lights. Light it up for him at night. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, some motherfucking aliens out here. Reason they don't come here, bad news travel fast. We known throughout the universe as the fucked up planet. That's why motherfuckers say they seen a UFO. They don't say it landed, came in the house, or cooked it dinner. You know what I'm saying? Them motherfuckers ain't landing. <laughs> shit, they be on the spaceship, man. This is probably just the fucked up planet tour. They get a little pamphlet and shit. Cost 500 kugels to come to this motherfucker. <laughs> motherfuckers sitting on the spaceship looking out the window. Hey, come on, let's go down there. Let's mess with them. But then just shut the fuck up. They fight over black and white, we purple. What the fuck you think they gonna do to us? Now look your ass out the window, let's go. You know what I'm saying? And there's one man on this planet that looks like a fucking alien. Michael Jackson. All that damn bleaching. I still don't believe that's his child. Can't make me believe it. Nope, 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 nope. That is the whitest little child I ever seen. He's in need of sunscreen number nine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mike done bleached the fuck out of his shit. You know what I'm saying? You can bleach yourself all you want to, but you can't change your genetic code. Because I remember that off the wall nose. He ain't tricking me. Them Jacksons had some nostrils. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? If he took a breath in here, we'd all die of suffocation. You know what I'm saying? You can't make me believe that's a child, but I feel sorry for the child, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, just imagine having Michael Jackson as your father, running around with a glittering diaper on. You know what I'm saying? Having a monkey as your older brother. Bring your friends in the house, like, what you doing? Your brother swinging from the chandelier, throwing shit. I feel sorry for the child, man, because seven years from now, man, it's going to be a trip. Little Michael come walking in the house from school and shit. Daddy. Daddy. I want to talk to you, man. I want to talk to you, man. You know, the rest of the kids are chasing me home from school, Daddy. They're taking my lunch money of $1,000 a day, Daddy. 
They said you played with the little boys, Daddy. Is it true, Daddy? Is it true, Daddy? And you know Mike's still the man, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know Mike's still the man. Mike gonna be sitting there getting mad in the motherfucker. <laughs> Come here, Junior. Come here. Come here. Don't you ever question me in my house or any of my houses. Because when you do that, you know what you're doing? You're doing wrong. You're doing wrong. You're doing wrong. Go! You're doing wrong, Junior. Come here. Stand right there. Right there. Right there. Spin around. I didn't want to have to do this, Junior. But you brought it on yourself, man. Spanking time. Whoosh. Get your little ass up. Get up. Get up, fingin'. <laughs> now go on and go outside. Stop being a little punk. And tell your friends, Daddy didn't do it. Go on, tell them, Daddy didn't do it. Go on, walk on out of here. Not like that. The way daddy taught ya. The way daddy taught ya. little kid gets on my damn nerves where's my crack pipe I need a fucking hit I need a fucking hit it's getting on my fucking nerves man generous to me from the bottom of my heart man I want to thank y'all for coming down and blessing me tonight with y'all energy I love the fuck out of y'all you know what I'm saying 
I just want to say, look around, man. All these different nationalities, cultures and shit, how we came together and been cracking up like a motherfucker together. You know what I'm saying? Now watch how crazy the human race is. You're going to walk out that door and lunacy will take back the fuck over. You know what I'm saying? White people walk out. Grab your purse. The niggas are behind us. Come on, come on. You know what I'm saying? Just got through laughing with a bunch of niggas. Come on, come on. They're gonna get us. They're gonna get us. You know what I'm saying? And brothers, we become doubly crazy. We look at the white man. Yeah, he think he all that. Then we look at each other. That nigga think he hard. Lunacy! You know what I'm saying? If we can come together like this, have a good motherfucking time, how come we can't carry this shit out on the streets and let it spread? One love, y'all. Put it child. I'm out. Well, yeah, I started when I was 14. That's when I, I figured it all out. Wow. wow. You're 10 whole years ahead of me. Yeah, but I have a short attention span. I'm thinking about quitting. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do something else. But... You know what my first job in the workforce was? I had to put on a, a fucking cookie costume <laughs> and hand out flyers on Capitol Hill for a restaurant <laughs> called the Cookie Bag. The Cookie in the, Bag? In the middle of August. And what kind of cookie were you dressed as? Huh? Was it a chocolate it's chip cookie? It's the poor, hot, angry as chocolate chip cookie. San Francisco, please welcome Kay Chappelle. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. What's up, San Francisco? I like your city. It's beautiful, tolerant place. I didn't see much. I haven't seen my friend call me. He was like, Dave, having fun in Frisco? Hell yeah. Seen the sights? No. You wanna go see Alcatraz? What kind of nigga in his right mind wants to visit a prison for recreation? I got friends in jail I don't visit. I don't deal with jails. Don't deal with jails and I don't deal with police. My house got robbed in New York. I didn't even call the police. I wanted to, but I couldn't. My crib is too nice. It's not that it's too nice, but it's too nice for me. You know how the police are in New York. Soon as I open the door, they'll be like, oh, he's still here. <laughs> open and shut case, Johnson. <laughs> Apparently, this black guy broke in and hung up pictures of his family everywhere. <laughs> Never seen anything like it. <laughs> Don't deal with them, man. I, I had to bail a friend of mine out of jail one time. You know, that was horrible. I was scared. I had to walk right into the belly of the beast. I tried to look as non-threatening as possible. Hi. 
I'm here to bail out my buddy. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, while you're here, you do fit a description. <laughs> if you walk this way, we can process you. That <laughs> always get us. It's fitting those damn descriptions. Now, I could be bitter and blame all the police, but no. I'll tell you who I blame. It's those fucking sketch artists. <laughs> they keep drawing the same brother over and over again. Who is this generic man we all look like? I want to know what they say when it's us. You know what I mean? They'd be in that room like, did you get a look? Do you see the guy that tried to rob you? Yes! Yes, I did! He was about six feet tall, I'd say. Six feet tall? Yes. He had his hat on backwards, too. Good. That's good stuff. Hat was on backwards. Yes. He was black? Okay, big lips, big nose, dick hanging out. Say no more, sir. I'll draw them from memory. <laughs> you know, let me get my stencil. I think we can trace this guy and save some time. <laughs> they get on the radio and shit, calling all cars, calling all cars. Be on the lookout for a black male between 4'7 and 6'8. <laughs> between 120 and 380 pounds. He's wearing Nikes. Get this man! This criminals are insane. I don't even know why people do crime. They want to catch you, they're going to catch you. They can. They got forensics. You ever seen forensics? Those guys find clues nobody else thinks about looking for. I mean it. You leave a pubic hair anywhere near a crime scene, they're going to find that shit. What the, what the hell is this? Back up! We got a match. <laughs> then they look at the pubic and tell all kinds of information. Hmm, hmm. Looks like there was a struggle. Uh, <laughs> time of death, 307. <laughs> it's amazing. I saw him get a dude one time on court TV. It was embarrassing. It was, it was a sexual assault case. I knew the defendant was lying. I could feel it. He defended himself too hard. He did, his answers had nothing to do with the questions. They're completely irrelevant. They asked him easy questions. Were you anywhere near the crime scene on the night of the incident? Motherfucker, I told you I work at Burger King. He was like, <laughs> that went on for hours. Then the prosecutor got fed up. Said, I've had enough of this. Called the forensics to the stand. Forensics was like, Your Honor, we are prepared to testify that we found the defendant's semen under the stove. I said, God damn. <laughs> That's worse than fingerprints. <laughs> you know, they find your semen. You've been there at least a minute. <laughs> but that's what I want to know. Under the stove? You find semen like that? Or do you look for it? <laughs> like, do they walk onto a crime scene like, this place is a mess. Check it for semen. <laughs> or do they just like walk in and slip? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> semen. <laughs> they find it on every crime scene. It's like, what are burglars doing? <laughs> so we got the stuff, let's get out of here. Wait a minute. <laughs> I want to leave my calling card. <laughs> the semen bandit has struck again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand nothing anymore. I don't. I watched TV the other day. Now tell me, maybe it's just me. 
Maybe I'm crazy. Is it me? Is it me or do commercials have nothing to do with the products anymore? <laughs> you think I don't even know what a fucking commercial is about until the end. <laughs> Everyone's a surprise nowadays. You seen that commercial where the lady got the black eye? This lady come on TV with a black eye, she's crying. She's like, I smoke crack. And my husband beats me. And then a voice came on and said, got milk? I said, what the? <laughs> it has nothing to do with milk. I'm not saying I'm a commercial expert, but I'll make a better milk commercial than that. Make it nice and simple. I just do a close-up of a titty and put milk right underneath. If that doesn't sell milk, nothing will, boy. I'll tell you that shit right now. It's 1997. Titties are industry in 1997. They are. I know they are. I'm a customer. I went to a titty bar last week at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, that's bad. That is bad. Because it wasn't like I was out. Said, let me, let me swing by the titty bar. No. No, I left my house specifically <laughs> to see some tits. <laughs> Can't judge me. There's breast in there. It's just what men do. If a guy runs up to you on the street, it's like, hey, hey, don't go in that building. There are naked girls showing their breast. <laughs> Be like a white dude in a horror movie. I uh, better investigate. <laughs> I'm going to want to see for myself. <laughs> Titty bar's a weird place. I'm not saying it's a good place to hang out. I, I go there every once in a while. <laughs> but it's a weird place. They got weird morality. One time I walked in Titty bars, all these guys coming in, right? Out of all these dudes, the bouncer picked me out the crowd start yelling at me. Hey, buddy, sir, sir, you want to take your hat off? Huh? It's disrespectful to the ladies. <laughs> yeah, I can shove a 20 up her ass, but I better not have a hat on when I do it. Oh, sorry about that, buddy. Here you go, Bubbles. <laughs> Forgive me for the hat thing. You know why those bars are so popular now? It's because men don't know how to deal with women in reality. So sometimes we got to take the fantasy road. The reality of the situation is very grim. <laughs> women have made a lot of progress in a short period of time, man. It's changed everything. Can't deal in relationships anymore. I broke up with my girl. I'm out of Shawshank. I'm free. <laughs> I don't want to go back. Couldn't even argue with her. You should be able to argue. If you have an issue in a relationship, you should be able to argue that issue out, right? But see, ladies, you got to stick to the fucking issue. <laughs> you guys take arguments everywhere just to win them. That's why nothing ever gets done. You be arguing about the dishes, baby. Baby, could you wash your dish at least before you put it in the sink? Premature ejaculator? Damn it. You know, why you gotta bring that up? I don't even believe in that. I don't. If I come, man, it was right on time. That's what I said. As far as I'm concerned, I can't come fast enough. You know, I'm sick of being vilified all the time. David, how could you? How could you come? I was fucking. Well, what were you trying to do, huh? Come. Well, I beat you. You got to work on your time, baby. I'm down to a minute 20. You're mad at me because I have different goals and sex. I'm a speed fucker. I'm just trying to hit my best time. It's like the Olympics. And now for the dismount. It wasn't all bad. It's never all bad. You won't stay if it's all bad. 
Nah, that's not true, but I, I wouldn't. She, yeah, we had fun. We used to watch porn together. That's how cool she was. It, oh, you know, it seems nasty, but it was fun. We learned about each other. She learned about me. <laughs> One time we was watching porn. I'll never forget this time. The first, the first scene in this movie was hardcore. Two guys, one girl, going at it. I fast forward right through that. I did, it was too much for my senses. <laughs> the scene after that was these two girls and this guy. And you know, I stopped for a minute. I had to see what this was all about. And she noticed. She said, what is that? Now, why, why does that disgust you? Two men and one woman. The men aren't touching each other, but the women are. The two women, those men touch each other. The two men don't touch each other. Why is that nasty to men? And I'll tell you why. Hey, ladies, you can call me crazy, but I think every, every straight man has a rule. <laughs> that would be the one penis per fantasy rule. <laughs> my dick is the star of my fantasy. Nobody else's dick is guest starring in my shit. This is a Dave Chappelle joint. You gotta look at the whole picture, man. Now you get two girls and a guy in a room together. That, boy, that's something else. That's fucking holding and hugging, friendship and helping, teamwork at its very, very best, my friends. You get two guys and a girl in a room. It's the wrong kind of teamwork. It's downright brutal, if you ask me. I'll pull her hair. I'll smack her ass. That poor woman looked like a chicken on a rotisserie and said, Help me! My life. It's too much shit out there to stress you out. This whole world is just drug infested. Hate infested, drug infested world. Hate drugs. I heard the worst drug story. You know what my friend told me? You know what he's dealing with? His landlord is hooked on crack. That's, that's terrible. That's pressure. Your landlord's hooked on crack. That means you've got to have the rent. <laughs> you come around all the time. I got the rent. It's not even due yet. It's the 10th. Come on, I need it. <laughs> Let me just get $20 of it now and then uh, just give me the rest of the end of the month. Every couple hours. Hey, look, I'm going to need some more of the rent. This building's falling apart. Things came up. Comes home early from a party. Landlord's in the crib going through his shit. What are you doing in my house? Oh, where's the sink? I came to fix it. It's in the kitchen. I thought it was in the drawer. I'll fix it tomorrow when I come for the rent. <laughs> you know what I hate about drugs? I hate when like people my age and older get hooked on crack. I hate that shit. You're too, you're too old to be experimenting with the drugs at a certain point. You should be past that. You ain't doing it by a certain point. You just miss it. <laughs> drugs are really for old people anyway. You 75, you've earned the right. Shit, I'm, if I was 75, I'd do coke, heroin, everything. I wouldn't give a fuck. <laughs> I'd be walking down the street, they'd be like, boy, that old man is tripping. Can't do everything. Maybe weed. If you're gonna do something, do a little weed. Smokes, weed, weed's not as bad as everything else. So weed is a background substance. You know I mean, you can smoke some herb and still function. And you ain't crisp, but you'll function. Nothing higher than weed, though. I made that mistake one time. I, I was at a party, some guy gave me some shit. He's like, here, man, take this. It's fucking mushrooms. I took it, I forgot all about it, you know. 
Then a couple days later, I found that shit in my pocket. I'm thinking, why not? Because I'm thinking it's like weed, some background shit. I planned my whole day out like it was weed. <laughs> I'll chew this shit up. Then I'll go to the barbershop, get my hair cut, and then I'll see a movie. Shoot it up. So far, so good. <laughs> then I was in a barber shop like an hour later. And it's funny because I was just thinking to myself, I was like, ooh, this stuff sucks. <laughs> Tastes like an athlete's foot. I feel sick, but I'm not really high. <laughs> then I looked in the mirror. I saw the barber's reflection, man. It looked like, it looked like a big penis was cutting my hair. I freaked out. I started talking to myself, Dave, calm down. You're on drugs. This is what drugs do. Okay, you know that there is no way that a penis can cut hair. <laughs> but I started freaking out, man. I just couldn't take it anymore. I jumped out the chair, half my hair was cut. I didn't care. I, I didn't. I just gave a bob a handful of money. It was weird. The balls opened up. Anyway, I... <laughs> I ran home, man. I ran home as fast as I could. It's tripping. It's tripping. I looked at the clock. It was 2.42. I was like, Damn. 242. I gotta sober up. I had never been this high this early. I took a shower. I was still high. I said maybe music will do the trick. I listened to every CD I had. I was still high. Exercise. That's what I'll do. I ran around the block four times. Still high. Took a nap, woke up, fucked up. <laughs> I looked at the clock, it was 2.43. I said, God, <laughs> damn. <laughs> Who know this song? <laughs> you know, that's just my, grand my grandmother used to sing that when she cleaning up. That's a Negro spiritual. Black work song. <laughs> Not everybody know about that. I know. See, white people, you guys might whistle when you work. <laughs> you dig? But that's how you can tell what kind of work we're actually doing. Mm -hmm. I study that kind of shit. I do anything that has to do with race. I read a little here, see a little there, and I travel. That's always good. Uh, traveling has made me a, a racism connoisseur, if you will. <laughs> you know, it's different from region to region. Anyone ever been down south? So you guys know what I'm talking about. Now the racism down there is just fucking it's perfect. It's due to a perfection. It's comfortable. It's out in the open. There are no secrets in Mississippi. Everybody knows the deal. Morning, nigger. Morning, sir. Not up here. You hit the big cities, man. It's different. It's always a secret. And we should do like them. We should keep our shit out in the open. Then a little. I mean, with limits. You, you don't want to say whatever comes to your mind. That might be a little much. White dude be walking down the street, minding his business. And the brother walk up to him. Hello. You white oppressor. You slave master rapist of Africa. <gasps> Why, hello, my... Big lip spear chucking friend. 
Touche, honky. <laughs> so, Whitey, what did you do today, huh? Oppress a new land and make the people there Christians against their will? <laughs> <laughs> what did you do, fellow? Burn those big black lips on a crack pipe as you miss your job interview? <laughs> Easy, Whitey, you're cutting deep. All <laughs> oh, this chit-chat has got me thirsty. If you will excuse me for a moment, I'm gonna go to the Korean store and get something to drink. <laughs> Chilling. <laughs> Hello. You slanted-eyed, ruining the economy in our neighborhood by opening stores and taking the money out the community, chink. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good afternoon, you browse around but never buy anything, suspicious looking nigga. After a while, that might be too much. But you can't help it. If you're an American, you're a racist. We brought up from the beginning to think in generalizations. We never look at the individual. We rarely look at the individual. I'm a racist. I know I'm a racist. You know how I know? The other day, I caught myself being racist against myself. <laughs> There's so much shit getting on, I got mixed up. Forgot whose team I was on and shit. <laughs> One time I was reading the paper, man, this story came on about the, uh, this guy was suing a department store because they wouldn't let him play Santa Claus, you know, because he's black. And I was actually, like, relieved when the department store beat him. That's bad. But I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready for the idea of a black Santa Claus. Man, that shit would suck. So we wouldn't get our presents to the 28th, 29th. Oh, sorry, I'm late, kids. Santa got caught up with some pussy in Vegas. I had to sell some toys to get back, shit. Where them cookies at? Y'all a great crowd, man. You are. I'm glad y'all came out, man. I, I'm nervous. I am. Not about the special. I just, I hope this shit don't make me famous. <laughs> you dig? I don't want to be famous, famous. I want people to like me for who I am. Like, famous dude don't never know why people like him. That's why, like, if, you, if I ever make it, I'm going to have to, like, Test people. Like if I meet girls, I wear disguises when they first meet me. So they don't know who I am. And then like on the first date, I'll call myself, I'll pick you up right from work. And then I'll pick her up in a fucking garbage truck. <laughs> just to see how she reacts. <laughs> and she's like, wait a minute. Oh, oh, do I look like garbage to you? I don't see no goddamn trash need to be picked up here. Get that goddamn truck off my block. Who do you think you are? That's when I take my mask off. <gasps> David Chappelle. <laughs> That's right, bitch. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I had the worst heckle level. You know what the worst heckle level was? A seizure. Boy, <laughs> what the fuck can you say if somebody has a seizure in the middle of your show in Washington Square Park? Were you strobing? I didn't know what to do. I thought she was like messing with me because she like walked out in a circle and then she just started like shaking. So I'm like, what are you? I didn't look like she was dancing or something. Then she fell in and was screaming. She was having a seizure. It was almost like she used her seizure as a heckle. Yeah, it, that's what it felt like. And then someone screamed out, get a spoon! And like eight people had fucking spoons in the middle of the park. Like who walks around with a spoon on? Well, the heroin cooking that stuff yeah. up, you know. Ah, uh, them apples. Oh, that's a spoon you want in your mouth. <laughs> I'd rather swallow my tongue than have a heroin spoon in my mouth.